To find the roots, we need to replace y with 0, and then we just isolate x. After a slight bit of rearranging, we have x squared equals negative 4. We can already recognize at this point that x is going to need to be an imaginary number. Otherwise, when we squared it, we wouldn't end up with a negative. When we take the square root of both sides here, we need to make sure that one of those sides has a plus or minus in front of the radical sign. And simplifying the right side gives us that x is equal to plus or minus 2i.